All right, I'm Big Tom Davis, and you are watching Mariners TV. It's the bomb. John Lee mentioned in his interview that we've probably played better in some games and not won this season. Is that fair to say? Probably, yeah. <laughs> um, no, definitely the, uh, the standard of the, the game probably wasn't a, a usual level of, of what we expect, not from ourselves, but, uh, you know, it, it, we had to get the result. I think that was the first and foremost what we got asked for today was the result, um, and we've, we've got over the line in the end. What do you think got you there in the end? What was it that got you over that line? I just, look, we, the attitude and spirit in there was always going to be keep going, keep going. We never, to be fair, over the years, again, it's easy to say, but we've, we, don't, we don't quit. We never have. We've always been a team that goes to the end, regardless of when the results gone our way or not. Um, and when we needed it, the lads that came off the bench did add that little bit of quality in the final third. You know, we started knocking on the door, we created a few opportunities. We, uh, we came out a little bit livelier in the second half and put them under pressure. And, you just felt like it was going to come, um, so there was no real surprise when it did. Even though I'm sure a lot of people probably thought, you know, this is going to be an nil-nil draw. On the pitch, we believed we were going to get that chance. Um, you could hear it going around the team. So, yeah, that little, that little bit of quality in the end, um, that, that attitude from the lads that never say die. You know, we know we needed to win, um, and we just kept going until we got over the line. I've had a lot of games recently on a, on a kind of quite a heavy pitch at the minute as well. A lot of sort of tired legs out there. So how important were those subs coming on there to make an impact? Yeah, definitely, and that's what you need them for. Uh, Jamie Williams, who does our futures, would uh, would call them game changers, not subs anyway. Uh, and that's what they were, they were game changers. Um, because, like you said, the lads put a hell of a lot of effort into that game on Saturday, the ones that played, and the pitch was heavy against a, a team from two leagues above us. Uh, it's going to take it out of you. You know, it's getting really, really heavy in areas. Um, and again, it's not conducive to the way we play, but we try, we try to shift the ball around, we try and press. So it's going to take its toll. So when you do send somebody on, like Liam Graham up tonight, you know, you want that impact, um, and again, you know, Macca and, and Josh and Walter later on uh, did fantastic. Some of the league results haven't gone for us recently. How important was it to get back the winning ways and sort of move up that table tonight? Yeah, uh, <laughs> we've just got to keep putting the results together. Look, regardless of where we are, uh, regardless of what goes on away from here, we've, we've said it a million times, the most consistent team in this league will be the team that wins it. Um, at the minute, that isn't us, uh, and the league table says that. So. Starting to get three points, you know, as consistently as possible, as often as possible. It won't do us any harm. Um, obviously, in the coming, the coming weeks. On a personal level, obviously, you weren't involved on a Saturday. It must have really hurt you not to be involved in such a great game like that. But how much were you trying at the bit to, to be out there tonight? And how pleased were you to, to be back on that pitch? Yeah, look, I, I did everything I could to get fit for for Saturday, but it, it it came really late, and you know, the management have obviously got tough decision when it comes to that. The last thing they would have wanted to do was in a game like that stick me out there. Um, I break down, pull up, um, maybe it costs us a goal, anything like that. You know, those are the things that, that goes through their mind. So yeah, it's it, it was really tough to not be a part of it. But having trained, you know, one full training session, I can obviously see why I wasn't selected. So it did hurt, and I was, you know, I'm sure Liam Graham would have been gutted. Or they wouldn't have been happy if I'd have been happy to be left out. So I was, I was fuming, but I was, I was also, you know, just completely wrapped up in the game, buzzing for the lads. I was. I couldn't wait to get in the change room after the game and, and celebrate with them. Um, but then, yeah, my focus shifted straight away. Uh, I literally got on from the game and shifted my focus to making sure that I trained yesterday to make sure I was right. And I didn't expect to start tonight. You know, I think that's one thing that I, 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 I thought the lads on Saturday were so good, and I'm sure everybody did, um, that if everybody was fit on from Saturday, you know, we probably would have gone with a very similar team or, you know, similar personnel, because they definitely earned their shirts. Um, but a couple of injuries have, have opened the door for me and, and hopefully I've done all right and I can move on and keep myself right for Saturday. Tonight was a massive game in itself, obviously it was an even bigger game last year when there was over 3,000, yet only 300 in, in today. Did that sort of show you the contrast of what it's like at the moment in terms of the crowd numbers? Yeah, uh, do you know, strangely enough, I think it, tonight it almost, I suppose the, you know, on that day 3,500 and the game was blood and thunder and it was loud and it sounded like there were 10,000 in here. Tonight it was 300 and it was kind of, you know, as Lee would say, after the Lord made a show on Saturday against Halifax, it was a little bit quiet, the warm-up was a bit quiet. They weren't, you know, they're not the same team or they weren't the same team as we played last year. And it just seemed to have that little bit of a, maybe that little bit of a downer, that little bit of effect. But uh, that's where we've got to be, you know, again, that's where we've got to be professional. You know, we we would love to have everybody here and everybody knows that and the difference it makes is, is unbelievable. Um, but we have to get over it. It's not going to change anytime soon. So we have to keep digging in. We have to keep coming up with big performances and, and big efforts. And, and hopefully it'll 
you know, turn for us and our form will really pick up, you know, with the with three clean sheets in a row, the big cup game on Saturday, a win tonight, you know, we could go on a great run now and let's see where it takes us. Just finally, the games will come in thick and fast, another competition on Saturday, the FA Trophy is probably not the, the top of our priority list this season, but it's still an important cup to try and progress in and I guess the lads are going to be going all out to win that one. Yeah, well, I've said this literally every year of my career in the, uh, in the conference and below. It's a trophy that I've never won. It's something that I've come close to. I've got to semi-finals. Um, I would really love to go on, and I and I know we're at a level where people don't usually win it from. Um, but we also believe that we should be playing a league higher. So why not? We just turned over Halifax, who are one of the big sides in the uh, in the conference. So why not? Let's put everyone together. Let's see how far we can go.